I think I don't know what just came out of me. Are you ready to get tiny in the Make It Mini Kitchen? Let's go. Don't wait for tomorrow. Welcome back to Tiny Land! It's not, that's not exactly right. We are making more miniature things today. I have, the, oh gosh, it's so big. The Miniverse Make It Mini Kitchen Set. Honestly, when I ordered this, I had no idea it was this big, glorious set. Or I, I would have prepared better for how big it takes up the shot. Look Ugh. at this business. So we've seen the Miniverse Make It Mini Cafe Series and Diner Series, and I've heard there is a Lifestyle Series I have not gotten my hands on yet. But this one is the Make It Mini Kitchen, and it's actually this adorable, like, working kitchen set with a UV light, so you don't even have to take it and put it in the sun. I am excited. It's got two, it looks like maybe two sets of stuffs. But let's see what the heck is in here. I'm so excited. You can even it customize your kitchen. What? That's so cool. All right, let's see what's in this thing. Make it tiny or something. All right, first off, let's take a look at the back of the box here. I love that you can personalize the kitchen. You can have it in pink or in yellow, which is really, really neat. There's all sorts of places to display your goodies, which I love. Most of my stuff's just in their capsule, so I'd love to have a place to put it. And there's a literal working UV light. Hold on, it's so good! You guys, look, so it's on the yellow side right now. And it looks like we got some donuts and maybe a milkshake. Oh, it's so much going on here. Okay. Oh, I'm tearing it. It is not coming out. I mean, it's not coming out. I'm very distracted. Okay, we got two little oven mitts. The oven mitts are absolutely adorable. They're like rubbery. They remind me of like the tiny hands. Okay. So here is the kitchen set. I don't know what's in everything. Does this open? It does. Okay, so this is a cabinet, I guess. This is the oven. It says just baked, and it's, I don't know what that's supposed to be. The drawers come out. Oh, you guys. Oh, look. Look, look, look. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got that. That's so adorable. Let's see what is in this. This has tape on it, and it actually had a question mark on it, so let's see. Oh! Oh! So there's cereal and a cereal bowl and a little, I'm showing like whoever's down here, I'm showing. There's cereal and a little cereal bowl and a, 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 a what is this thing called? All I can think is oozer, an oozer. That's what it is. It has the tweezers as well. Okay, I'm guessing the milk, I guessed wrong? Okay, I just took a minute to like get everything out of the box, get the batteries in it, get all the stuffs out because it was, it was taking me a long time. I got all this out. I think it's neat that you can turn this around. You can have like a pink or a yellow kitchen or you can have it kind of mix and match. Turn that around. Look, pink kitchen. Here are all of the items. So I have like a berry smoothie, which I've had smoothies before in these sets and I wasn't that impressed, but We'll, we'll check it out. And then I have like uh, a donut set. Let me take the donuts out of the box, the way they were set up. So we got like chocolate donuts. They came on a little tray like that with some glaze, but now you guys, what? I want you to see, this is everything that came in like the sets that were on the side of the box. There's no sprinkles. So you know what that wants you to sprinkle on it? This. So you technically get to make three things, I suppose, the drink, the donuts, and the cereal. But now they're wanting you to save the, it's not on here. There's no like instructions for the cereal. So it's wanting you to save some milk, I assume. All right, let's start making some things. I, I hope that I don't mess it up. I hope that I do it right. <laughs> I may not, you never know with me. All right, we're gonna do donuts first. So we're gonna put the glaze on the donuts and we're gonna put the cereal on. So first off, here's my little box of cereal that was up in the cabinet. I have gotten the like Fruit Loop type cereal. Oh, there's actually quite a bit. So if I don't go crazy and use too many, then I should have enough to make a bowl of cereal. I'm gonna do them like this just so I can sprinkle them easier. It did come with this little 
whore spout, a spout, uh, what do you call this? An oozer was what I called it, wasn't it? I have never had, please leave me a comment if, oh, that came out way more than I thought. Leave me a comment if you have had donuts that have the cereal on, because I have never had donuts with the, like, cereal or fruity pebbles or anything like that. I'm going to actually use a little spoon. I think that'll work better. Cute! That's cute. Okay. Oh, it went right in the hole. That was not where I, like, that wasn't precise at all. <sighs> no, don't go in the hole. That is not what I want to happen to it. That one's probably good enough there. And now a little bit of ooze. Ooze it on over here. I will say this glaze is coming out far better than any of the, the resins have ever come out um, on the ones in the capsules as I just put my hand in front of it so you can't see. I'm gonna use my fingers. They're just going in the middle. That's not where I want them to go at all. Sheesh. I'm not happy with the way that looks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I have no idea if you could like put in more than one thing at a time, but I'm not gonna risk it just in case. So here it is. This is genius because it's got reflectors all in there. So I'm gonna set it just like I'm putting these in an oven. There's a UV light in it and reflectors. So it's gonna get it on all sides. Close it up and push the button and a five minute timer comes on. This is gorgeous. This is brilliant. I love this so much. Okay, so the timer has gone off. This is my very, very first Mega Mini Mini Brands in my Mega Mini Mini Brands kitchen. Let's see what it looks like in the oven. Are you done? Are you ready? Is everything great? Oh, they're not sticky. They're perfect. Okay, it worked perfectly. I am so pleased. This is so perfect. It worked great. Uh, there's my little donuts. I really wish that it hadn't filled up the donut hole. I hate that. I, I want these to look like regular donuts. And I like the sprinkles better than the cereal, but this is super cute. Okay, it, it worked great. I can set them just up, up there. Set them. Isn't that cute? So what I am going to do, I still don't know the point of, of these. Next time I'm going to get it out. With, with those. Now I am going to actually make the cereal. And I feel like maybe the cereal is meant to be made with this, even though I don't have instructions. If there are instructions for the cereal, I cannot find them. This only has instructions for the donuts and the smoothie. The actual big instructions don't either. Like they don't have instructions for the cereal. If there was instructions for the cereal somewhere, I must have thrown them away. That's possible, I don't know. But here's what I'm gonna do. I think even though maybe this is meant to be used for the cereal, I am going to use this glaze because it's white. It looks more like milk. I think that's pink. So I'm gonna put glaze all down in the bottom. Yes, I know I'm putting milk before cereal. I don't care. That doesn't make any sense when you have resin. <laughs> to not do that. Okay, we're gonna squirt a whole bunch of the resin down into this cereal bowl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, babe. <laughs> this is good stuff. Okay, now this is gonna be the perfect milk and now we're going to put the berry cereal. Oh yeah, there was plenty. You guys, there was plenty. And I'm gonna use the little spoon to kind of make sure all that cereal is touching the resin. That way it'll stick in there and won't go like falling out. And I like the spoon, uh, so I'm gonna stick the spoon down in it. So I'm gonna put this back in there and we're gonna cure this up. I think it looks cute-ish. Feels weird baking my cereal. That doesn't feel right, but it's going in. Oh, it fits in there. Everything fits, everything fits. Everything works. <laughs> so good, okay. We're gonna close it. We're gonna turn on the timer and we're gonna wait five minutes. Time to get my cereal out of the oven. <gasps> hot cereal, fresh hot cereal coming right up. You don't really need this. They're not hot. Okay. Oh, it is kind of warm. Actually, resin does get warm when it cures, but it's not like hot. Like I literally need these things. They're so stupid. Ta-da! Look at that. That is so cute. So this actually, this, this light thing, let me get these off my fingers. <laughs> This light thing works so well. Like that is completely cured. That is not coming out. All of the cereal, for some reason I can't think of the word cereal today. Put the cereal here and we're gonna set that there. Excellent, okay, we got one more thing to make. <sighs> There's truly no reason for me to be salty about making this smoothie. I just didn't really enjoy making the drinks when I made them from the like cafe and diner series. So I don't really wanna do this one. 
either, but maybe it'll be cute. So we're gonna pour in the milky milk and then we're gonna put in the ice cubes. This is what I don't understand. We're gonna put in the ice cubes and the strawberries afterwards. And then it says stir it with the straw and it's meant to look like that. Okay, here we go, pouring in this cocoa berry milk. Now I want cocoa berry milk. That sounds delish. So many of you have told me to like put them in hot water, hold it in your hands, warm them up. I haven't done any of that. I haven't done any of that. I'm ridiculous. All right. I like to struggle. <laughs> you guys are like, we don't like watching you struggle. Okay. These resins, they are coming out of these bottles far easier than the capsules do. Like, I mean, I am like struggling pushing out on the capsules, but this is, these are coming out fairly easily. Okay, I think that is gonna be as much resin as I'm getting out, and I am gonna put a lot of ice and the strawberries in it. Oh, this little ice pack is so cute, guys. I'm gonna put all that ice in there. All of it? I don't know, should I put all of it? I'm gonna go poking those ice cubes down in there. Or not, yes I am. Okay, I think I put exactly the right amount of resin. Oh, yes, oh, <gasps> no. Now for the Happy Sun Farms strawberries. If we are gonna have it looking like that, they need to all be on the outside. So let's put a few of these in here and I'm gonna try and poke them down the side. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there we go, there's one. How did they do this? And then I'm gonna put one or two right on top, like so. And then we're gonna put our smoothie in the oven. Yes, I am. Oh boy, okay. So I actually can take this out. That is so awesome. So I can lower it down just like a real oven so the straw will go in there. This is so cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm so impressed with this set. So far I'm impressed with the set. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. Let's wait five minutes. Okay, while I am waiting on that, I'm actually going to clean up my kitchen a little bit. I think to me, this looks like a, a little refrigerator. Maybe it's meant to be a shelf, but it looks like a fridge. I mean, I think that's gotta be a fridge. So we're gonna take our strawberries, that in there. I'm actually gonna take the extra milky milk. Oh, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. I want it to fit in there. Oh, what a bummer. I wanted that to fit in there, but it doesn't. I do think it should fit up here because that's where it was with the little um, display earlier. So my milk is gonna go in the cabinet. Yes, I know I have the caps on wrong. I don't care. Okay, we're gonna put the extra glaze in the fridge. Milk in the cabinet, glaze in the fridge. It all makes sense in my world. All right, the joke never gets old. Let's take the smoothie out of the oven. <laughs> it just keeps being funny to me. Here we go. It's warm. It is warm because resin does heat up when it cures. If you've ever had jail, jail nails? If you've ever had gel nails, you know it heats up, but it's not hot. This is cute, guys. It's cute, and it is completely cured. I was worried, and it says you can put it in for like another five minutes if it's not cured, but it is. It's totally cured. That is super cute, and I can see the ice cubes and the strawberries in there, so I think this one's really good, too, even though I didn't want to do a drink. You got me. It's cute. Now, what do we think of the Make It Mini Kitchen? Honestly, 10 out of 10. It is adorable. The execution is adorable. I love that I, now I have um, extra shelves so I can put all of my Make It Mini Cafe and Diner Series stuff on there. Uh, and it, it's just really cute. Everything is cute. It's all cute, guys. And this oven thingy works so dang well. I, I'm impressed with it. It literally, for me, gets a 10 out of 10. I can just put everything in the oven and it works so, so well. This was brilliant. Oh, Miniverse people. What do we think of the Make It Mini kitchen set? Like I said, I think this whole thing gets 10 out of 10. I love this thing. There's even a table in the backs for even more of your displays if you're just making Make It Minis like by the dozens. There's so much display room on here for all your cute things and there's like shelves in the fridge and all that. So you, I think, I don't know what just came out of me. I have so many Make It Minis back there on the shelves and just inside their little capsules. And now I have a place to actually put them and display them and all the cute little extra ingredients that were left over. I think this is brilliant, excellent. I, everything about it is perfect. I love this. 
get you one. <laughs> if they're, I'm not sponsored by this, but if you love the Make It Minis, this set is fantastic. So I will probably use it to make more Make It Minis in future videos because it, it really works great. I hope you guys had fun, and if you did, please subscribe to Dr. Squish, and we are going to have so much fun on the next video, and I will see you there. Bye-bye, Squishy fans.